had no suffering. In the past. Time Travel Wish Notes, January 28th, 2018. Working on a bit of a hokey hypothesis, I found this in June 2017 when I did some light digging near the alien stone face underneath at about 10 inches to 14 inches depth. I had thought this was a Native American pistol missing its motor to grind with because of its great roundness and depth of its its concavity um, and in the past week or two weeks I've been working on a origin hypothesis origin of humanity through galactic orbital seating and uh, substrate used underneath the lichen to create the human side of a perfect division that looks east and um, that can be those notations can be seen but this is related my hand fits beautifully in this my hand the the contours I, I, I have to hold the camera with my left hand but it's just I'll hold it against my pant leg it's just an unbelievable, too coincidental. And one of the things that made me think this was handmade was these notches. It uh, seems a pattern. Boom, 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 boom. Hand broken. And this has to do with the chisel marks at the top of the alien stone. That first indicated to me it was crafted purposefully. And my left hand, let me see if I can hold, I'll hold the camera with my right. My left hand, when you flip this over, my left hand contours. Go right in there. It's just, uh, it feels like I, like a human my size went back 14 billion years with some kind of fireproof gloves and picked up some lava and squeezed a thing and held this this is natural geology it's not uh it's not a an aggregate from human right and if i could if i could show you the the fit it was just it's just like a You know, I made plaster Paris reliefs from animal footprints when I was in the Scouts, and I enjoyed doing that. And um, and so I recognized this to be a relief. And if I look at my left hand, goes right, and the thumb is missing, and the missing thumb is a clue because the six-fingered alien in the image has no thumbs. And if he had six fingers, it would fit right there. And you wouldn't, and there, there wouldn't, there wouldn't be concern for the thumb section missing. Um, so I don't 
don't have much more to say about this. If we could get close-up photography showing my hand meeting that surface, my right, and then my left, and then my fingers crossed and interlinking with my hands over this stone, it feels like it belongs in both my hands. It's just, it's just amazing. Um, and maybe just a hokey and amazing coincidence, uh, you know, because hands, the hand of the alien is, is you know, part of the, the experiment and the image. Um, the face looking like the cliche UFO alien from Earth lore. And um, it being a control in the experiment that I did not need to go to the Three Acre Wood to investigate the... the difference that humans would have made, uh, had made, uh, according to the photography I've got <laughs> in another timeline. So James out for now. We're calling this the alien stone hand. I know January 28th. <laughs> James out. 2039 hours real time. I was uh, celebrating and finishing up notes about the artifact found underneath the alien stone and looking at pictures I determined you can see creases for the spaces between the fingers clearly and I was looking at the pictures and looked at this one what the heck am I seeing here What's going on here? Huh? Looks like they tried. They tried hard. Their spelling era is similar to the message attempted with the angelic symbol on top of it in the same exact sky I designated. Spelling is similar. And this would be 3.7 billion years, or maybe 1.2. Who knows? They know what happened when. Let's see. Here's the stone. Natural formation. Where is that? Let's see. Yeah. Very good. Okay, I'm I'm seeing a consistency here on this edge. <clears throat> fingertip edge. Oh, we're hooked on that. Oh, the battery's caught on the thing. Oh, geez. Houston, we have a we have a problem. Okay, Houston. We are go. Okay, so we, so we definitely have some metallic uh, property there. Uh, I don't know the geology of the local area, but I expect that uh, there is iron. Uh, what I forget what they call the iron here in Connecticut. In the past. Time Travel Wish Notes, February 8th, 2018, 07, 12. It's been 10 days or more, I think, uh, since realizing that the hand of 
time that I'm calling it now was not an Indian artifact or a, uh, as an old pestle. I thought it was. I dug it out uh, Sunday last week, fit it in my hands, and it fit very well in both my left and right hands. And I, the more I entertained that was so, the more even the ripples, the protuberances of my right hand uh, and left hand uh, seems as if the uh, a traveler went back 3.7 billion years, 4 billion years to a young soul 3, um, was suspended above that dangerous environment, reached his or her arms outward, and scooped with the right hand, a large clump of red-hot molten rock brought it into a cool environment immediately and placed another hand, a left hand, over it to make what I'm calling the top. It was then placed on a flat surface while still red-hot to, to hold and held its shape, hand lifted off, man or person screaming bloody murder, and it appears that a tool made of steel, definitely a colder surface, scraped several little alphanumerics, the artists at work, again. And they can be distinguished because they have curves and V's and 90 degree points and there's some of them on there and I'm giving that 55% certainty I have many notes to read over anyway the possibilities are amazing and can be very beneficial to all of us at this time the hypothesis that this was formed by a human being at a time when this rock was in a near liquid state are within the new boundaries of what may be being revealed by either the crew or the beings or a single being that has very apparently made itself real and I will state again and defensively the honesty and so the integrity of all that has happened to me and online can be traced and validated because I have used the digital environment and timestamps that I have no control over ironically and possibly a true irony So that, last week, ten days ago, seeing that the apparent language display that appears to begin with the letters J and A and M and what appears to be a sideways E and the small sideways S, just like on the wall above the phone, just like on my mother's digital image I had put online in November 2015 that I discovered on that morning of the 28th of 2016 when contact was made a couple hours later. That can all be seen online. Um, they, they put it all together. They, or it, are very smart. They line up everything for this linear time, as if a time-traveling genius prankster might do. But then there's the image and its genius. All so amazing. All can be connected as all of it is in context of the experiment, and I can raise my certainty levels of many objects of evidence throughout these past years because of this stone, this artifact. I should note that the other night while the stone was out of hiding and I was handling it some, I began to suspect that the palm relief that I'm designating as left or top may have been created by a person with a smaller hand than that of the other side where my right hand protuberances fit as if the stone was sculpted, sculpted for it by nature. But now it is very apparent to me that nature was manipulated by humanity as we are so good at doing. And there is indication within these past few months involving the blue light anomaly that this feat of gathering molten, very young Sol 3 matter was accomplished from a point of suspension above, safely above, that very dangerous young Earth at that time. And someone or something has used that same suspension or levitation, as we might call it, at a location near me to safely communicate to me with a beam of light. Without totally freaking me out, they were able to do this. Or without flipping out my pensioner folks, uh, retirement age, 
or my dog to lead me back to the alien stone where it originated. All those notes can be seen in uh, photography. I learned uh, last week while reviewing old videos that they had must have looked at a video I posted uh, in early April about April 7, vegetation not being displaced because people were using the exact same trail near the choices, home through the centuries because of the natural geology of the rocks. So there was no this choices well that were different. Worn footpath and I pointed that, that out. And in that video, I make a 180 degree a turn between the alien stone on the and the studio. Of those homes back there. So they learned, no they saw that, they said, ha, changes, we can shoot a beam of light. So I wasn't you know, I can I can validate that it was not an optical hallucination. Thank God. Uh, so much more in the past. Uh, notes on the stone. Sp speculation. Evidence to me is that there is an ability to uh, levitate or suspend a pilot or an instrument above terrain, as is indicated by the blue light anomaly events. But I deduced to a high degree of certainty were coming from the terrain up in the meadow at the three acre wood pretty much right in line exactly with the alien stone so let's speculate you're a traveler through all, all time, time in a singular, singular timeline, timeline because the stone indicates singular timeline travel especially by adding what strongly appears to be similar alphabetical symbols indicating something akin to my first name that are appearing throughout Time Travel Wish in the months before to my discovery. So you've got the ability. When time is a toy, a simplicity, the pilot goes, goes back, back and forms the stone 3.7 billion years ago. It cools and cracks as he past. or she sets it down on a surface. All this is happening within seconds. Possibly in a craft or possibly in an artificial surface that travels with him or her. It cracks at the thumb after cooling. Or that crack of the thumb happened in the sediment in any time in 3.7 billion years when the continents ended up right here in New England. He's got the ability to watch now. He's made the stone in the craft, possibly with another beam. There's indications that two sides of the stone are, are etched on with a fine steel point as it's cooling. So, they've got the stone in the craft. It's cooling. They can see the, the middle is still red hot. The outside is all blackening. And they may be in a space-time bubble, like a spherical uh, containment of their own time so that they can you know, experience, experience linearness, linearness and then reach out to where they stop. Uh, scoop up this molten rock. I speculate with the right hand first and it weighed and you can see that at the bottom of the rock. Scooped it up, brought it in, put the right hand over it, latched the fingers together, then maybe brought both hands to the flat surface and let the rock set. So the shape is maintained as it's cooling and black and they've got a steel point. The machine may be doing this. They may be duplicating what I've seen in the two other events and the picture I took of the sky when I would go out that I wasn't sure for months was anything. That looks like a little angel-shaped being, and then the same J and the same curvature of the M and then V-shaped diagonals. Freaks of clouds don't do that. And I'm not a cloud watcher. We'll go talk about that some other time. So, they have the ability to watch and see what landmarks form 100 million years, 200 million years later. They can watch the continents move over and, and, and achieve this geographical location and see where they can put the hand of time so that James finds it in 2017 in October. That is what we're seeing in this artifact. This will be proof positive that no one can be before. I don't think anyone can make a breach in between what's been done. This locks humanity out.
that ability. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Some hypo. Uh, old fuckless fuck time. time. Uh, for that blue light anomaly, we'll make a whole separate uh, video, possibly, and talk about how I stood on the rooftop last week uh, with my busted foot in the cane and lined up with camera and validated that the shooting to the skylight through onto the ceiling where I would most likely look and the power blackout that happened in October very likely like them, them. Uh, hitting a transformer or something the discovery of the hand of time stone may mean. mean that humanity on earth is now singularly tied to a time traveler's prank to return to this planet more than two billion years ago and hand forge this stone and then leave it at a landmark that he could see James would find it in October of 2017. He led the time travel experimenter to it. Or did I? Will I? I? Question mark. Big question mark. Wonderful possibilities. This is an all humanity thing. thing. Let me see. I've been stupefied by, by the Saturday discovery. Or was that Sunday? I'm, I'm reading my tweets. I can make this stone shape with my hands using clay or the snow or mud in the ground. It began to get spooky to me. Actually felt a little, you know, chills like I, I was in a horror movie. A, a damn good one. And that's fine with me. And it's really tough to scare me. I mean, you, you can't, you know, you can't, you almost can't startle me. I startle myself. James out. In the past. I almost forgot to add to that last last audio. Uh, day before yesterday, I used my consumer-grade uh, electromagnetic detector and my consumer-grade metals detector. Both were difficult to use, but I managed to find a pattern of EM uh, emanating from the stone. And I don't know if I should share that. And the metals, yes. And I made video of that happening, and I'm going to be adding that to the video. And... Not sure what it means. I kind of expected it. It would be something I would do. Uh, put some technology in the palm of my hand that might push into the molten and stay there. I would also leave some biology of myself had I hand handled a stone to commit such a thing. Trace humanity back 3.7 billion or 2, 2 billion years. Or there was something else. I'm making clay molds right now. I've got. Uh, I'm treating it better. I've got plastic over it so I don't get any clay on it. I'm going to stop leaving my skin flakes all over the stone. I'm certain that if those are engravements made with a fine steel point while it was cooling, uh, that that can be determined as an undisturbed area of stone by mineralogic testing. And radiographic carbon dating testing can get us pretty close. And hopefully one day finite testing of space-time measurements will be going on. And hopefully I'll be able to live to see that day. James out in the past. In the past. And no suffering.